Next property, distributive property. If A, B and C are whole numbers, then A multiplied by B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C or A into B plus A into C is equal to A multiplied by B plus C. Also, A multiplied by B minus C is equal to A multiplied by B minus A multiplied by C or A into B minus A into C is equal to A multiplied by B minus C. Now let's move to the exercise. First question, simplify in the easiest way. Solving part A. 8 into 96 plus 8 into 4. Here the given statement is similar to this form. So we will write A into B plus A into C. So here the value of A is 8 value of b is 96 and the value of c is 4. So, the final answer will be in the form a into b plus c. So, we will write 8 into 96 plus 4 equals to 8 multiplied by 100 or the answer is 800. Also, in the first line, if you write 8 into 96 plus 4, we will get 18 to 100, which is equal to 800. Next, we are going to solve part C. 13 into 107 minus 7 into 30. First, we have to change the order here. We will write 13 into 7. Again, this statement is similar to this one. So, the answer will be A into B minus C or we will write 13, we will take 13 common in bracket 107 minus 7, 107 minus 7 is 100, so the answer is 1300. Next, second question, use distributive property to find Solving first part 1001 into 87. Now, here it is very difficult to multiply 1001 by 87, but if we write 1001 in terms of 1001 by writing 1000 plus 1 into 87, then it is similar to the first statement here. So, here B plus C into A is similar to 1000 plus 1 into 87, where B is equals to 1000, C is equals to 1, and A is equals to 87. So from here, we can write this is equals to A into B plus A into C. Now putting values. A is 87 into B plus 87 into 1. And the next step, we get 87 into 1000, 87,000 and 87. So the answer is 
Now it's very difficult to multiply 996 by 265 directly. But if we write 1000 minus 4 in place of 996, so 1000 minus 4 is equals to 996. So if we write 1000 minus 4 here and multiply it by 265, then this statement is similar to this statement. Or directly we can multiply 1000 by 265 minus 4 by 265. We get 265000 here minus 265 into 4, 4 into 5 is 20, 4 into 6 plus 2, 26. And answer is one zero six zero. Now two six five zero 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 minus one zero six zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Four nine here three. So the answer is 2639400. Next we will solve third problem. First part. Find n in the following. n into 3 plus 2 equals to 4 into 3 plus 4 into 2 here in the next step 4 is common we will write 3 plus 2 now by comparing the value of n is 4 also from the first statement if we compare this statement from the given statement here the value of a is 4, b is 3, c is 2, so this must be a and the value of n is equals to a and the same is 4. Next we will solve part d. 7 into 6 minus 1 equals to 7 into 6 minus 7 into n again if we write 7 into 6 minus 1 equals to here we have to take 7 common and we will write 6 minus n now the value of n is 1 also the second line is similar to this statement a minus a into b minus c where the value of a is 7 b is 6 c is 1 so here 7 into n is equivalent to a into c so n is equals to c and the value of c is 1 again solve it n into 8 minus 1 equals to 2 into 8 minus n into 1. Now the given statement is similar to third property where the value of a is here n and equals to 2 b is 8 and c is 1. So here and here the values of n both are equal to a and the a is 2. 
So the value of n is 2 here. Now I will request you to please solve all the problems of this exercise and previous exercise from your textbook. Thank you.